Hey folks, it's Dr. Sam and I received a question today. How do I work with astigmatism? So astigmatism is a condition that starts in the eyeball, which actually creates an irregular shape of the eye. I call it a twist in the eye. And what I have noted over the years is that whatever prescription is measured in the eye, it's also measured in the body. Let me break that down for you. So when I studied uh, craniosacral therapy, and I still do cranial work, what I noticed is that when I would measure astigmatism in the eye, and then I would do a craniosacral session, I could feel and note where that twist occurred in the body. And if I actually did a cranial session and I was able to unwind the twist in the body, the astigmatism in the eye the measurement would actually go away. So a lot of times I wouldn't prescribe the astigmatism uh, in the eye because if I could unwind it in the body, then it would go away in the eye. And this is a mistake that's made where eye doctors want to correct for astigmatism, but when they do that, they lock in the twist in the body. Now it could be something like scoliosis, uh, you know, a twist in the hips. Anywhere where there's an imbalance on a body level, this is gonna to reflect to the twist in the eyeballs. And when you correct for astigmatism in the eye, you're tightening up the muscles. You're creating a tension pattern. So every time you put the astigmatism lens on, you're embedding the twist in the eyes and the body. You know, one of the things I love to do is when somebody comes in for an eye exam, I'll measure their eyesight on the eye chart, and then I'll do about an hour of craniosacral therapy. Invariably, when I measure their eyes after the craniosacral session, their prescription is less, about 30% less than when they walked in the door, which tells me a lot of eye prescriptions are prescribed when we're under maximum stress. Well, the problem there is, is that when you get that prescription, it's reflecting that moment in time when you were stressed. And the astigmatism is a big part of the visual stress. So next time you go to your eye doctor, see if you can negotiate getting a prescription either with reduced astigmatism or what's really radical is no astigmatism. And if you start wearing that in non-demanding and non-threatening situations, your eyes are going to flex into the non-astigmatism correction and it's gonna help you heal your eyes. So that's my message for today. I wanna to thank you so much again for tuning in. Take care. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Please send your comments to me. I'd love to hear from you.